Okay, so I have to connect this to this to be able to hold the door up and to make a stand for all the equipment to go on it for this kinetic sculpture. So what I've decided to do is I've got these, I can't remember what this has come off of, some sort of bed or something. So I've made some tubes, drilled a hole, they fit in. So I can actually weld these to the door, maybe with a little bit of bracing to be sure that they're solid. I've got two of them. So now it's a case of uh, lining them up and marking the door so I know what I'm going to do. both welded in place, they're only tacked, but it's enough that I can now turn the door over, take these out and leave the bits in that I've just welded, and actually weld them up and make sure they're absolutely solidly in place. Right, today the plan is um, to get this arm mounted, I'm going to have to cut the arm, articulate it at the joint, um, Eventually what is going to happen is that it's going to move across and open out and then go up and down like you do when you stick your hand out of the car. Um, so first of all it's going to be a case of build a base that's going to hold it in the right position um, and then I can start cutting the arm and working out how I'm how I'm going to actually articulate it. So I'll cut it where the elbow is, I'll probably cut it where the wrist is, possibly. Um, and, and the hands then are gonna have to be able to move as well. So I'll have to work that out. So that's what's next. So melt that in place. Right, so what I've worked out is this bicycle moves in two directions, this is bicycle front axle handlebars. So what I'm thinking is that we get rid of everything on the wheel apart from this centre hub. Um, then this will move up and down like that. We will cut the frame here, cut that there, and then the whole thing can turn that way to bring the arm out. So that is the next bit of the, bit of the job. 